Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you've been enjoying my videos. If you're new, welcome for the first time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I love seeing my numbers go up. Now, every now and then your door locks may die. Uh, the 80s are getting on in age and mark and gark and wear sometimes will get into your keys and into your, your locks and will destroy them. Now, my lock here has doesn't work anymore. It's seized up. It's the last one to go on my car. My passenger door has gone. The boot has gone. Um, unfortunately, I've had to get a new set of keys. So I'll be putting this lock in. I'm going to show you how to install the lock on the driver's door today. Um, I couldn't get a key set for the boot lock, so I'm just going to have to unlock that one from inside the car as usual, which is a little bit annoying. It means I've got two keys. I've got ignition key and I've got this key. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is if I want to keep my car locked up safe and secure. So, let's get into it. Now, one of the first things you need to do is pull apart a few things on the inside of the door so we can take the door card off. So I'm going to start here, Phillips head. And for some reason, when I do these ones, I always just use a, a screwdriver. Make sure you don't lose your little screw. Now, to get this off, don't just pull it off. You've got to pull the door handle out, and then you wiggle it and slide it off like that. Now, I always put my little screw back in there, and I sit this up on the dash. I've had this off a few times before. Now, some cars, some of you are going to have a speaker. This has been put in aftermarket. You need to unscrew your speaker cover. And this hasn't been put in very well on this car. And then take your speaker out. And once again, as I said, this has not been done to the greatest on this car. Previous owners. It was just a whole kind of butchered here. Um, I have replaced the speaker, but there was nothing left to screw to. So it's not stock, it's not standard. Make sure you don't lose your speaker wires. Put them, just tuck them somewhere where you're gonna get to them again. Okay, next you need to unscrew your handle assembly. Under your armrest bit here, if you just get a screwdriver, you can just lever it. Or better still, what I have just purchased, I'd like to try, is some trim clips. So, they're plastic, which means they don't damage your car as much, hopefully. Okay, so under your um, handle, We've got one big screw there. We've got a big screw at the back here. Now when you tighten these back up, make sure you don't over tighten them because the plastic in the 80s is getting old and you can crack it. Up in under here, mine doesn't have it. There's a little cover that you can just lever out with a, a, a fine screwdriver. Um, the plastic cover unfortunately is long gone uh, underneath that you'll find a, another Phillips head screw okay so once you've taken this off you've got a screw there a screw there and a screw there you don't actually physically need to take the armrest off just these screws are what holds the whole card to the door now I've got a special trim clip remover Okay, I've got this little guy, little trim clip, clip remover thing. I've always done it with a screwdriver, um, so you can do it. All around the edge here, a little, um, there's one here that's fallen out, because my door card is falling to pieces. They're actually a little clip shaped like that. Now the idea of the trim clip remover is it gets in there underneath and pops it out. You can do the same thing with the screwdriver. I'm going to give this one a try. So what you do is you just come down the side here gently till you see where it is. It is right there. Pop. Okay. Pop on that one. Pop there. And this actually works really good. I will show you. Don't need the trim clip remover. 
just go in, get it behind, pop it, and you just work around. Now, mine's already come off, because the bottom of my door card, around the bottom, is all shot. Now, when it comes like that, you bring that side up, and you can slide it, so it's an up and a back movement, up and back, and that will pop off. Now, the reason it comes up and back is because there's this little piece here which slides up under the trim here. So you can take that cover off, but you can also get it off without taking the cover off. Now, as you can see, water has been in my car and destroyed all of my door card. I do have another door card coming, so we'll be doing a door card replacement video. Look out for that, not sure when I'll get to it. But you can see your clips are here, 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 here. So they're spaced all the way around the door card. I've got one there that didn't come out because it's pulled out of the rot in my door. Now you can see there's a big piece of uh, black plastic here. You're not going to find that on your car. You're going to find this clearer plastic up the top here. That's a piece of plastic that I put in because when I purchased the car it didn't have anything and I was trying to prevent the water from destroying my door card any further. So it's held on with this black goop all the way around so you can just peel that off you can see the underlying what was left of my plastic there this is going to get interesting now I'm just going to tuck that under there if you have a thicker plastic um, it's going to be a little bit more awkward. You can bring it around and tack it up over your door or tuck it in somewhere out of the way. Now, I'm just going to make mention because somebody I'm sure is going to ask, what is all the silver stuff here inside my door? Uh, that is body sound deadener that I got. Helps insulate the car and also I found when I put it in all my doors, it um, deadened the noise quite a bit actually. Uh, made made quite a big difference. It was only cheap. I bought it on a roll off eBay. So Yeah, I was quite impressed with how that worked. It's just a self-adhesive and cut it and stuck it in away I went now we want to work up in here to get access to all our door lock Okay, so I'm just going to use the screwdriver to point a few things out over here is a little yellow clip that is on our door locking mechanism. That's our bar for that. We need to unclip it and swivel it. Up here is the same thing for our door latch. Now I'll see if I can do it with my hand so you can see, which is going to be quite awkward. Okay, so I have unclipped it. It's just a pop clip. And then trying to do this with the screwdriver, it's much easier to do it with your hand. That should just, I'm going to have to do it with my hand. But same with the yellow clip there. I'll see if I can pop it with the screwdriver. No, I'm going to have to do it with my hand. Sorry about this, but you're not going to be able to see much. So it pops and then the it pops off and then the wire comes out this way. The handle pops off and then the wire comes out like that. Then we have one bolt there and one bolt up the other side to undo. Now to access these bolts, I'm just using 10, 10 mil on a screwdriver. They're only small, um, so make sure you don't lose them. Now they've created a nice little hole here in the, the car to access to put your device through. Again, I'm just putting my hand in there. Oh, this one hooked on. There we go. Came out beautifully. Okay, so now we've undone them. Pull the handle up and with a little bit of jiggering it comes out just like that now okay so to replace your door lock you'll find there's a little 
screw Phillips head there. Don't lose it. It's got a screw Oop. and a little locking tab. Then you've got a 10 mil bolt there. And then it should only go one way, but see your new one? Now my new one has a plastic, a, a white plastic. The old one has a yellow plastic. That doesn't really, it's neither here nor there. Um, so put it back in. And you want to do that up fairly firm because you don't want that coming undone on you. Then little lock tab on the other side. Again, firm. Then check the front, check it sits in. Beautiful. New, nice, smooth lock. Um, just find the old key. Old, old dodgy key, doesn't turn. One way, um, I, as you can see, I actually took it apart before these locks came and I put a drill through um, three of the pins there that were completely jammed up just so that I could open the door to be able to get home from Coles. I was out at the shops and I had to pull all this apart and uh, yeah, munch all that out so that I could get home to drive the thing home. Okay, so to get it back in, make sure your door handle is up the right way. What you're gonna do is move your little bits of plastic and you come up. Now you wanna put it as far to the front of the car as you can. Make sure you catch this little black strip. The two silver bits go up inside and you want your seal to stay outside. When you get it sort of lined up, you should then pop your door lock seal in, and there we go. It'll sit in there like that. Nice and tight and firm. Then you go around to the inside. Now, I like to do the easier one up first. So I'm taking my hand, I'm holding it from the outside, and screw that one in. Now if you don't hold it from the outside, you're likely to pop the door handle back out. Again, we want that nice and firm. Proper torque settings, of course. Now we go through our hole. And again, I'm gonna push on the outside of the door. Now, do not shut the door at this point because you've gotta make sure that you clip on your door handle bit and it is quite fiddly So to clip them on, you gotta move them 90 degrees with one hand, sort of. <laughs> Push your wire in and then, where's my screwdriver gone? Push it in and the little clip clips back over and retains it. Now just got, that was the door lock. Now I've just gotta get the door handle one back on. Okay, so what I've just realized is that I think when they've shipped me this door handle is the two little clips are backwards. So that's the new one. It's got to come back. The old one clipped down from the top. So I'm going to put the one off the old door handle back in.
helps with a bit of light. And wash your fingers on the on the edge of the metal here, it gets quite sharp. Now that should actually have been a lot easier than what it was. Okay, goes back in, clips down. That's what should have happened the first time. So now you've got your door handle clip on, your door lock clip on. Good idea to check that it actually works. That's everything all working and good. Now, make sure you put, you can make up one like I did, um, or if yours is torn, just to seal it all back up. Um, Now the idea of this is just to stop water getting on your door cart. Now, sometimes what will happen is your little clips will pop out. They just go back in, they go in into the big hole and slide out to the smaller holes. Now, as you can see, my door cart is not in very good condition at all. So I will be replacing that. Make sure all your little clips are back in. And then to put that back on, Again, it is out, slide it in up here, underneath, as it goes down, and it will just sit in and just slide in under that. As I said, you can remove that, but you don't need to. Now, go around, before pushing it, make sure that your clips are actually lining up with your holes. Because if they're not lining up with your holes and you try and push them in, they will bend, they will break, and they will be no good. So, put our screws back in. Remember, don't do them up so tight that you break the plastic. Cover goes back on. Just bumps on like that. We're going to put our door handle back in. Again, to do that, pull the handle out, slide it over the thing. It'll clip back in. It'll hold down while you get your screw ready and then in goes the screw once again these are notorious for cracking I have busted quite a few that's not sitting in right like that that's better make sure you catch that little clip on the front otherwise then the front sits up and it's hard to get your hand in There we go, now I've just got to mess around for ages with this abominable speaker set up here to get this. So that's how you replace the door lock in an 80 series Land Cruiser. Now, remember guys, I have a range of t-shirts if you're interested. Hit that like, skip, share and subscribe if you have enjoyed my videos. Um, keep an eye out for other videos that I do. Um, there should be some other good ones coming up, canyoning, etc. Uh, check them out, but uh, make sure you get out there and have fun guys See you around